just fine. Everything went really smoothly. I sent Elizabeth home. I just couldn't be here. Why don't you uh, visit with her now and then go home and get some sleep? I'm sorry. What you said about Barb and the kids, it's true. I did my share to make that marriage fall apart. I didn't know any better then. And I thought when I met you, I'd do the right thing. I should have been there today for Emily. Nothing should have kept me away. But when I'm sitting with her, I see my mother and my father. I watch my parents die just like that in the hospital with the best doctors, most advanced equipment, and they still die. And I sat with them the same way you sit with Emily. Now, I know that's no excuse. My parents lived their life. But I'm asking you to forgive me. I just couldn't sit there and watch a child of mine die. She made it. I know, I saw. You went? Huh? Emily's not the only one who needs you there. I know. I know. Good morning. What are you doing? Yeah. What do you mean? It's Mother's Day. It is? Yeah. But before you eat, let me fluff up the bed. Okay. There's something there. What could it be? A present. Ooh. You know who sent that? Who? I'm Rascal Emily. Pretty. Happy Mother's Day, Emily's mom. First of many. for you. Oh. <laughs> Isn't it amazing what scissors and a little medical tape can do? Okay, Emily, tell them. Tell us what? Say, Mom, Dad, guess who's over two pounds? That's great. Oh, way to go, Em. Way to go. Happy Mother's Day. Your daughter's got a little Mother's Day something for you, too. Stand uh, over there. <laughs> okay, 
Emily. Time to say hi to your daddy. Oh, Leslie, it's Mother's Day. I don't... No, think... you'll be okay. Put your arms out. Come on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Careful of the wires. Oh, my darling. Yes, we're so proud of you. You've shown such courage. You're my courage, girl. Yes, my darling. Latest x-rays show no further damage from the NEC. And I suspect that when we go in to do the surgery, we can correct whatever damage there is. And after the surgery? A speedy recovery and discharge. How speedy? Seven, eight weeks. And then she can go home? I'm optimistic. She'd approve. It's a dinner for writers and more journalists, and it's a professional obligation. And a chance for me to show you all. Okay. Sheila? Hi. You just stopped in to say goodnight. Okay. <laughs> it was so quiet in here, I thought you'd like some music. Mm -hmm. Hi, Amy. Hi, sweetie pie. Oh, we missed you. We went dancing, Amy. We? Fantastic, she says. <laughs> she likes the oldies. What's an oldie, Mom? What's an oldie? Your father's an oldie, honey. <laughs> I'm an oldie, huh? Let your puppy dance, Emmy. Sound all your life. Yeah. Why am I so nervous? You think I've never done an interview before? Well, you've never done one and had to report back to Emily. She'll be so relieved. I can just hear her. Man, I thought you'd never go back to work. Sorry. Actually, the novel started out as a story, but it just kept on going. It's much more metaphoric. Are you okay? It's my wristwatch. Yeah, I'm sorry. It just reminded me of something else. I'm sorry. Where were we? On my metaphors. <laughs> right. <laughs> metaphors. All right, just a little further. Keep them closed. They're closed. They're closed. Right. Slow up just a little. Oh. Okay, I got Open. We graduated. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Say hi to Coach. Hey, little man. You're out in the big world now. 
I heard the news. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi to the ladies. Hey, yeah. Welcome, you so big boy. Come here. Are you hungry? Is that it? I gotta go. I'm sorry. I know I'm a crummy friend. Oh, hey. 